Ladies and gentlemen, today we're playing Void River Discipline Priest on the Beta of War Within, and boy does it feel amazing. In this video, we're going to go through the main changes and skills that you're gonna be using as a Void Weaver. As a Void Weaver, you open a rift for 8 seconds that does AoE damage every time you cast Mind Blast. Now, the first thing you're going to notice, this thing looks amazing. I wish all the hero talents had such a cool graphics that tie back to your class's fantasies in such a nice way, and Void Weaver this priest is definitely a winner here. Now, it not only it looks good, but it actually does a lot of damage. It was easily my top damage contributor in the damage meters at the end of the run, and there was no other way really because your capstone talent further increases the damage of the rift every time you cast penance. There's another cool graphic here, which makes the rift bigger with each bolt that Penance shoots out, and once the rift is over, it collapses and it does even more AoE damage. So, it looks good, it feels good, it plays good, and yes, it's an extra skill, but it's tied to some of the buttons that you're pressing already, so it's a huge win overall, and of course, that's not all. Kind of going in the same direction with the design, once you cast the rift, your smite is replaced by void blast. This simply does more damage and also has a different cooler graphic, which also complements everything we've said so far, but there's also talents that complement the void blast itself. First, it increases the duration of the entropic rift up to 3 seconds the more you cast it, and then your atonement healing from the Void Blast is further increased, so not only does more damage, but it's going to do much more healing as well. So every 20 seconds or so, you're getting your Mind Blast cooldown back, which not only is going to do a lot of damage, but you get the Rift, which is a short window, which helps a lot with your healing as well. This feels really good, and it's especially helpful in the short windows where you don't have your Mind Bender available, if you have the Mind Blast, that can actually get you through those spots where you need to heal until your Mind Bender is back. Now, unfortunately, the rest of the hero talents are not that amazing, but everything we've talked about so far is just that good that it kinda almost compensates for the talents that I'm going to show you next. Some of the other notes are actually not that bad, for example, there is a talent that increases the absorb amount of your power word shield. It's a small bonus that is quite welcome and it also synergizes quite well with the new tier set, so nothing to complain about here. There's another note that makes your atonement a little bit more effective while the entropic rift is active, and that's also quite welcome as it makes you even more powerful in those small windows when you have the rift up. And yet another note transforms your Mind Bender into a Void Rate, which does extra damage and attacks from distance, which is another quite welcome bonus, as this thing actually did quite a lot of damage at the end of the run. So these three notes are nice buffs that you get on the side, but there's three more notes remaining, and unfortunately there's nothing good to be said about them. All hero talents have some nodes that feel like wasted space, but somehow for Void Weaver, it seems that that count is a little bit higher. Starting with the defensive node, you have two choices, but both of them seem kinda weak. You can either siphon a little bit of health from nearby ally, yes, ally, and only if their health is higher than you, or you can take 3% less magic damage, and that's only magic damage, and if the damage happens to be shadow, then you get a small heal. Both of these feel quite bad, and considering that the priest doesn't have the best defensives in the game, they could have definitely done something better here. After all, the testing and the feedback continue, so I have some hopes that they could do something and change this to be much better. Then you get to the choice PvP node that every class has, two useless talents that either give you a little bit of speed or slow the enemies down, Overall, you could get some little value in some new situations, but if that note was not there at all, you wouldn't feel sorry. And then there's yet another talent which makes absolutely no sense, and keep in mind that this is not a choice note, you have to get this all the time. Shadow Word Dead does extra damage to shields and gives you mana back, only if there was a shield present. I don't know, maybe that's another PvP thing, as I haven't seen much shields in PvE. 
But even if that's the case, that's one too many nodes for PvP. No offense to anyone playing in this mode, but they could have definitely come up with something better. I had a blast playing Void Reaver. It seems like this is exactly what Disc Priest needs. The same playstyle as in Dragonflight, but just better. The Entrophic Rift and the Void Blast both feel good to play, but they also look amazing. And they're definitely going to blast in Mythic Plus and Dungeons. I didn't get to test this in Raid, but I think it should be relatively viable there as well. You can pre-ramp before you cast your Mind Blast, and then you can take advantage of the talents that come along with the Rift, the increased healing, the Void Blast, etc. And since you can do this every 20 seconds or so, that should be quite a nice playstyle to have in the Raid environment. Is it going to be your weapon of choice though? Oh, I do not plan to make a separate video for the Oracle Discipline Priest, so let's talk about it right now. I've played the Oracle Hero Talent build as well, and uh, for there you get something called Premonition. That's a spell that changes every time you cast it, and you cycle between three different effects. The effects themselves are actually quite good, they reduce your cooldowns, they increase your healing, they give absorb shoots to your allies, they give you instant radiance as casts, and without going to the rest of the hero talents, it's actually pretty damn good. However, I'm not a big fan of those Blessing of Summer type of spells that change every time you cast them, as it's quite complicated to min-max your usage of them, especially in the case of Premonition, as you have two charges and you can stagger one of them while the other is recharging. As I said, they're not bad at all, but it kinda overcomplicates the class, as you have to keep track of them and then make decisions how and when to use them. And to that, I can simply say, why not play Void Weaver instead? It's so much more fun, and for someone like me who never mained the priest, it was always an old for me, it's definitely the way to go. Now, having said that, if you actually deep dive into the Oracle Priest a little bit more, if you play with it and you get a lot of practice, you can probably min-max the premonition uses to such a degree that you're going to outperform the Void Weaver easily. And I'm pretty sure that this is exactly what a lot of main discipline priests are going to do, especially in Raid. But I'm personally going to stick to Void Weaver for as long as I can, and in order to switch into Oracle, it needs to be outperforming Void Weaver by a huge margin. So in short, if you want to have a lot of fun, Void Weaver is definitely the way to go, but if you want to min-max your performance, maybe you want to delve deeper into Oracle. The choice for me is clear, but let me know what you guys think in the comments below and what is your preference. Make sure to subscribe to the channel as well, as I have some Holy Priest beta footage and content coming up as well. I'll see you guys in those videos, now get out of here.